So I want to talk about your family being able to see you, not just your family, but the whole world. We're going to talk about your interception. I think that was week six against the Rams, fourth and goal. You read the play perfectly, jumped the route, came down with the interception. Just looking back at what you've been through over the last few years, what did it feel like after that play? Was it one of those moments where you know how sometimes you feel like, all right, I'm back? Mm -hmm. What was kind of going through your mind? Uh, I mean, when I caught it, um, I don't know. I just was, it was just one of those moments that, you know, one you won't forget, but in that moment, I just was doing whatever came to mind at that time. You know, we, we, <laughs> we got in front of the camera. I was able to, you know, say some things in the camera. Just, uh, I don't know. It was, it was just a moment I wouldn't forget. Um, you know, just everything that I went through uh, mentally, physically, um, and just being able to make a play on a, on a prime time game, um, you know, big play at that, being that it was fourth and goal. Um, but uh, nah, it, it, was, it was just a good moment, good moment for me. Yeah, prime time, you're on the national stage, Sunday night football, all eyes are on that divisional match, 49ers Rams. Uh, you spoke about, I remember after that game, you talked about your phone blowing up and all of the messages you were getting. Your family's in Oakland, they're watching too. What was it like? What, what were the calls you were getting when your phone was blowing up after that? Um, it was crazy. The majority of the calls came from um, a text message came from my old teammates out in Chargers, um, from, from the head coach to the uh, GM to the trainer staff. Like, I literally got a message from everybody over there. Um, and it was cool, man. You know, obviously they know what it was like for me going through what I went through there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was overwhelming. Um, definitely, like I said, something that I was just in, stuck in the moment, man, just trying to embrace it all, uh, you know, as far as all the stuff that I went through again. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it was, it was a, a good thing. Jason, you have a lot of supporters. Even I know some people with the Chargers organization, and when you came here, they're like, oh, my gosh, like, we are so excited for him. We can't wait to see him. Uh, but there's so many people that are rooting for you. Was there a message that stood out from the rest uh, just through this journey or could have been that game? Um, yeah, my, uh, my general manager uh, from the Chargers, Tom Telesco, um, you know, we got a great relationship. Obviously, he took me first round when I was there, but uh, he, he still has my jersey hung up in his office still to this day. And uh, he sent me a text after the game and told me, told me that he still has it up there for me to keep the ball and uh, that he's proud of me. So I, I think that was a message that stood out that, you know, the love that I still got, you know, from the, the guy that drafted me. Yeah, that's, that's big, you know, yeah. having that relationship and that love and that support, even from a former organization. You know, I know you have so much love uh, with the Chargers organization. So, all Absolutely. right, I respect that. Okay. Um, is it safe to say that that interception was your favorite moment as a member of the 49ers? Oh, yeah, for sure. Most <laughs> definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Do you have a favorite moment of your career? Yeah. Um, my first interception uh, was in uh, Oakland Raiders Stadium uh, to seal the game. So, yeah, that's definitely going down as my favorite. And family was in the stands, I would assume. Oh, yeah. It was, I had like, a, I think about 85 people came. 85 people? Yeah. It was, okay. it was deep. <laughs> my brother, my brother at the time worked with the Raiders, so he, he had to plug on the ticket. So, okay. Yeah, my family came out deep for that one. Oh, okay. So it was perfect. It was the perfect setting yeah. uh, for your first interception, obviously. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. So at that time, you were with the AFC West. Now you're here with the NFC West. I want to know who's the toughest receiver you think to cover in the NFC West? NFC West. Um, well, I haven't got to, uh, DeAndre Hopkins and them yet. Um, but as far as, uh, so far, uh, I like, you know, DK Metcalf. I think that's a, uh, a, a guy that's on the rise right now playing really well. Um, so I'll say that's probably the biggest challenge so far. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll get to, uh, Arizona in a couple of weeks, but all right. Yeah. Toughest receiver you've ever covered in your career. Who would it be? That's tough. Um, I say Antonio Brown, or uh, I've seen him in his prime, um, even though he's kind of been on and off this past few years dealing with injuries, but AJ Green. 